I mean, dating after you are 40 years old is fucking ghetto. Like, it's so ghetto. Especially if you're, like, a woman who's independent and got her own. I think the, the, the dating pool is way smaller for us. <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am so over it. I'm over it. Hey, hey, you wanted this, right? Wake up, you're in the middle of it. You want to run? Go ahead. No one's stopping you. Stop complaining. I am 40 years old, and I get it. I don't look like I'm 40. <laughs> I listen to, like, reggaeton, trap, all that stuff that is, like, appealing to, like, the younger kids or whatever. But You sure about that? Baby, I don't got time to be texting all day. All we can do is pray for but still, it's, this is real sh Like, plan something. Plan something, like. No. No, man. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another short video I have here for you today. Grab a beverage, get a snack, preferably something high in protein, something healthy, you know. Sit back, and we are going to watch these two clips. Again, my name is Rat Boy. Let's get into it. I mean, dating after you are 40 years old is fucking ghetto. Like, it's so ghetto. Especially if you're, like, a woman who's independent and got her own. I think the, the, the dating pool is way smaller for us. A woman that's independent and, and it's got her own? You mean an adult? Like normal adult stuff? Yeah, you should. That's not. I mean, that's just basic stuff, but you, I guess you can brag about it, I guess. Like, I am so over it. I'm over it. I am 40 years old and I get it. I don't look like I'm 40. So I attract a lot of young men and like I am very vibrant and I listen to like reggaeton, trap, all that stuff that is like appealing. Wait, did she just say she doesn't look 40? She definitely looks 40. At least to me, I, you know, I, I would guess 40 for her. Appealing to like the younger kids or whatever, but like even the dudes that are my age, like they're playing games. They're playing games with you. Is, is that, that's what you're saying. So those guys aren't going to be playing games with someone they feel is younger than you and, and looks a little bit better than you. I mean, they're not going to be playing games with her, by the way. But you're kind of going for the younger dudes anyway, so w what are you looking for? You're finally ready to settle down, I guess. They're playing games like, baby, I don't got time to be texting all day. Like... Plan something. Plan something. Like, I... Oh, uh, plans. You know, if he wanted to, he would. That's... <laughs> that tells you everything you want to know. If he wanted to plan something with you, he would. But, um, yeah, I don't see it happening. The, the younger ones are always going to be at the top of the list, unfortunately for you. I don't got that time to be on the phone, texting back and forth, what you doing this, and like, plan something. And don't even get me started with the Hinge app. Do not even, like, app is deleted. Okay, there we go. So she was online dating, which is something I've said several times. It, it, you're not, <laughs> these dudes aren't, aren't dating. They're just hooking up on, on these apps. Even Instagram, you know, you do Instagram, you, you slide into a DM and you're, and you're hooking up. So, I mean, all these apps are dating apps for really attractive women. Women that, you know, post a lot of pictures online and stuff. These apps are, are all dating apps. The problem is whenever you hit a certain age, uh, you, you stop posting those types of pictures and you don't get as many DMs. And this is the result right here. I'm done with it. I gave it a good three months, tried it, and it was just like endless texting. Endless texting for nothing. Like, why are you on a dating app if you're not trying to meet people? So this woman is in her 40s, and she should have been settled down way before this time right here. I mean, 
I could definitely see like when she was younger in her twenties, possibly, you know, real easy to settle down, start a family. Wonder what happened. For what? I feel like in this time, in this generation, men are just emotionally unavailable. They're just not, they're, they don't want to be emotionally available, especially when they meet a woman that is got her own, is successful, pay all her bills, is pretty, is knowledgeable, like. I mean, absolutely, but <laughs> you're, you, you can definitely be pretty for someone, absolutely. There's a lot of guys out there that will find you pretty and that would be more than happy to have a relationship, get married possibly, you know, but uh, you don't really care about those, those guys. Those are the guys that kind of sit in your DMs and you just kind of ignore them because maybe he's only 5'10 or doesn't make as much as you would want him to make salary-wise, you know. You turn all these guys down. It's the, unfortunately, it's the really successful, really tall men that you are looking for and they are not giving you the time of day, which... I mean, it's going to involve lots of texting and, and they're just going to try to, you know, get you to come over late at night. So what the F what in the actual F what in the actual F I am just like over it. I am so done. Like, I don't want to date. Like I'm done. Like I hate dating. I don't, they want to talk to like multiple people and see which one, like, no, I am the price. Like I am the price. You're not going to try to play me around to see which one of these hoes you're talking to is better than me. I'm better. Nah. I mean, if you were better then you, you wouldn't have to say it. You'd be there by now. I would think, but what happened? See, these videos are kind of frustrating because they never kind of explain why they're dating in their forties. It's always just like a mystery, this mystery thing that happens that nobody can explain and nobody will explain because it just doesn't make sense. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. I don't know who can relate, but I'm just so done. Like, I'm done. Dating in 2024 is ghetto. Um, dating when you're in your mid-40s in 2024 is definitely something I wouldn't recommend. You know, you should have a family by now. This next video is a date. <laughs> is a dating coach. And uh, let, let's take a look at this. Please listen up. This is really for you. This is where we have to use our discernment. Okay, our judgment, character. And I'm going to use myself as an example because I can't blow the client's name here. She's. I just want to make one comment. Why do all of these people kind of look all the same? You know, I think there's just like a picture on the wall and then they're the, the doctor or whoever they're going to see is like, yeah, just give me this. I just want exactly what that is, that face on the wall. And then they all kind of look like this right here. Looking for a partner, a friend, okay? Doesn't want to get remarried, just looking for a friend to turn into a long-term partnership. I okay, let me just stop here. So she's a dating coach. This person called in, texted in. She's looking for a friend, not someone to marry, but a, a friend that could possibly be a long-term partner. I was very confused uh, when I previously watched this video, so I'm going to give it a rewatch. Number one, she's been texting back and forth, and he's one of those that will just text her when he's interested which is what yes that that is how this works continue three days go by oh sorry i've been busy obviously he's not making her a priority so she um no man should make a woman a priority you should make yourself a priority and then all those good features will naturally uh trickle around you and improve your life that way she stepped outside her comfort zone and she texted somebody and he responded within a few hours and he responded with a i'm flattered but i'm married well done perfect i told her that's a gentleman that's what you want to seek stop wasting your time on that scrap shit. that right there is integrity and honesty polite and to the point and that's what you want to seek Okay, let me just say, uh, that's going to be the end of that video. I just want to ask, and so he's going to be a husband. So she's trying to hook up with married men? Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, again, this is Rat Boy. I am out.